Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well. I'm sorry for looking like this. It is very early in the morning but I need to make this video. Today we are going to do a new review for a foundation. The foundation is not new but it's new to me and I really wanted to check it out. So uh, the foundation we are looking at today is this one. This is number seven Stay Perfect Foundation for all skin, for all skin types, non-stop complexion perfection. So yeah, I will zoom you in and we will get right into this. Okay, so you are now zoomed in to my very sleepy and very puffy, pay, puffy face. Uh, but anyway, so this is the number seven foundation. Um, the colour I got is Warm Ivory. Um, and this is what it looks like. So it's a glass bottle. It's got a nice pump. And we will see what they claim. Um, this one has 30 ml, so standard size. Uh, on the box it says, life proof foundation for a naturally flawless complexion with super staying power. This comfortable foundation feels lightweight and breathable and gives an even toned, beautifully smooth complexion that looks and feels fresh all day long. It can be relied upon to stay perfect up to 24 hours wear, weatherproof and transfer proof. It won't cake or flake on dry skin, nor slide or shine on oily skin. Stay perfect, look great no matter what. Uh, it it's fragrance free, it is has SPF 15 and vitamin E, and it has non-pore blocking, which is good because sometimes that happens to my um, the pores on my nose. Right, so this comes in 25 skin true shades is what they say. So they are saying before we use it, we need to shake it. So let's do that now. And again, like all the other videos that I do, I will do half with a sponge and half with my fingers. Um, I used to do a brush, but then I stopped. Okay, so it's a very thick consistency. Um, I will do two pumps, that's two pumps. Um, dot them. It says fragrance free, but I don't... It definitely isn't fragrant in the sense that it doesn't have a very good smell, but it does smell of something. Right side, I think it's right here. Right side, I will do sponge, and left side, I will do fingers. So let's see how this goes. That is actually absolutely perfect. It is spot on. Um, in terms of coverage it says it's medium coverage I think it, it would be light coverage to be honest because it's not a lot of coverage but it did go on like bend into my skin really well okay that blended out like a dream it does have a thick consistency but when I put it on my face like when I blend it in it felt like a really thick moisturizing cream which is nice um, I will actually remind you before we go ahead that I am um, wearing a primer like I always do. So the primer I'm using today is the Max Infinity Primer, Face pri Face Finity Primer, and I've got my moisturizer on as usual. So not a lot of coverage, but I'm sure I can do one more layer. So I will do this again, and I will show you in two minutes. Although like in the bottle, it doesn't look very glowy, but it's very easy to use. I'm really impressed with this so far. But you know what, I don't want to get too excited because, you know, come the afternoon and it will look absolute shite. So I don't, I don't want to do that <laughs> to myself. Anyway, um, let me focus you in more. Um, Okay, so this is the side with the sponge. I can see that it is sitting on top of my pores um, in a way that they haven't 
they haven't really gone away but somehow it has still smoothed out the rest of my skin and then on this side so I would say slightly more coverage um, but the color match is really is really good if you have forehead um, just let's just hope it doesn't oxidize um, I will set all of my face do the rest of my makeup and I will show you what we are working with in a bit okay guys so I am back with my full face of makeup and I will zoom you in so we can see exactly how this foundation is doing so I've powdered everything I have set it with um, I've set it with my Maybelline fit me because that's what I usually use anyway for setting up foundations so this is the side where I used um, the sponge and thankfully it hasn't oxidized which is nice and this is the side where I've used my fingers. I can't really see like a really big difference. Maybe you can see, you can let me know. But so far, so good. It's not settling into any lines. Um, it has really melted into my skin really nicely. In terms of coverage, I think it's given me like a really nice medium coverage. Um, I can definitely build this up if I want to, to be honest. But I don't, I don't want to. I like this cover. It's nice. It's very wearable. Um, it is very lightweight. I can't feel it on my skin whatsoever. And although it's a thick consistency, when you put it on, it feels like you're putting like a CC and a BB cream on. So that's that's nice too. Um, anyway, so I will go about my day now, you know, and see how it goes, how it um, stays on my skin at the end of the day. So yeah I will see you guys at the end of the day until then um, yeah have a lovely day <laughs> see you later hello guys <clears throat> so I thought I would do like a half day check-in I know I don't usually do these but I want to do one for you uh, because I want to show you what the foundation is looking like at the moment so um, it's been five hours <clears throat> already since I've had this on my face um, and then you can see, please excuse my um, very faded lipstick. So this is the side where I used um, my fingers. You can you can see like a tiny bit of the foundation gone from this side and my nose here is quite shiny. And then on this side is where I used the sponge. Again, I think it's slightly shiny here near the nose but it hasn't worn off on this side so i think i might have just scratched something here um around my nose don't forget that we are wearing masks these days so a lot of um you know movement and foundation will come from uh, taking the mask on and off so anyway yeah i mean so far so good it hasn't oxidized um, my skin still looks quite nice I think it doesn't look very bad and um, yeah so far so good let's see what happens at the end of the day <laughs> 